So it's been one month with the Tesla Cybertruck. I've been through a couple different insurance companies already and it's been some ups and some downs. You probably heard that insuring a Tesla Cybertruck can get pretty expensive and I'll tell you it definitely is a little bit more expensive than normal cars. That's kind of the thing with Teslas though. It's always going to be more expensive. We made plenty of videos where we talked about the average insurance for insuring a Tesla and it's about $150 a month. But in this video we're going to talk about how much it actually costs to insure the Tesla Cybertruck. When we first got the Cybertruck, we wanted to go with the quickest insurance possible. Didn't want to go through any sort of hiccups at all. Didn't want to go through trying to explain to any insurance company what the heck a Cybertruck is. As you can imagine, that landed us on Tesla Insurance. Went through the app really, really quickly, and we were actually at a first initial rate of $233 a month. I think the coverages were about $100,000 across the board with $1,000 deductible, which $233 a month isn't that bad. I thought it was okay for a brand new vehicle that's a Cybertruck that's made out of complete stainless steel, and so maybe it wasn't too bad at all. Tesla, however, did not like how we were driving this truck a lot. Maybe we didn't put the right amount of mileage for our yearly driving, but we actually did a lot of driving in the first few months and still continue to do so. I think we're at like 5,000 miles as of the recording of this video. Tesla didn't like it so much that they raised the insurance rate to $299, almost $300 a month for a six month term for insurance at the same coverages. That did not sit well with me and I didn't really like paying $300 a month for insurance. You probably didn't either, especially because our Model X that's insured as well, not through Tesla insurance, we were paying about $170 a month to $180 a month. I don't remember the exact number. Which led me to trying to search for a cheaper insurance. As you know on the channel, we talk about how to get the best deal on Tesla, best financing, best payments, which led us to Costco insurance. My favorite, even though you can't insure in California at the moment, we still had a policy that was still open. So I was able to make a quote and find out estimate payments for a brand new Tesla Cybertruck. When I logged onto the portal, there was no drop down for Cybertruck, but I was able to input the VIN of the Cybertruck and they were able to look it up. After a few days, they generated a new quote. It lowered my Model X insurance rate actually. And the Cybertruck came in at a whopping, I know you've been waiting for this, at a whopping $179 a month. And the Model X went down to $156 a month. I'll put the coverages on the screen, but you can see that it's 100,000 300,000, 100,000 for all the different protections. We got a 1,000 deductible across the board, towing coverage of $75 and a rental expense of $50 a day. So that is my Tesla Cybertruck insurance journey. And that's the real number that I pay to this day in California. Hope this video helps for you in your buying journey of a Tesla Cybertruck. So you can get some accurate numbers on how much you will be paying for a Tesla Cybertruck insurance. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment if you have any comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.